Hey, what's going on, ladies and gents? And in this video, we're going to be taking a look at a Diablo 4 cinematic. Whenever Blizzard comes out with a cinematic, you know I'm always there to study it. So let's go check it out. Uh, so you can see here, this is not for kids. So please, hide your kids. Boy, young one, are you all right? Oh, you're not well. Please, 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 my child, let me help you. Stay away from me! Nayrel! Is that how I raised you? No, mother. But... But I must carry this burden alone. I must get to Akarat's tomb. But look at you. You're killing yourself. I... I don't know how much longer I can... <laughs> I'm here, little magpie. <laughs> I missed you so much. I'm so proud of you. But now... I need you to give up. No, no, no! Of course it's you! <laughs> you must Let go of me! Let go? No. You made a choice. And I warned you, little magpie. There would be consequences. Maybe you're right. Maybe I could use some help. All right, so I, I haven't played Diablo since Diablo 2, back in 2000s, whatever. But Diablo cinematics and Elder Ring and World of Warcraft are like my go-to when it comes to studying. Because this is my school. This is how I learn how to light and everything. There's a lot of stuff to talk about in this three minute short so let's get to it man this is crazy first of all the water i'm not even gonna say nothing to that that is amazing simulation professional stuff i'm not worried about that right now that is man that is so high up the list i can't there's no way there's just no way i can replicate that it's so good all right so we got some nice simulation in there got some fish floating around so we're gonna be focusing on cinematography here because it's amazing. First thing you're going to notice is they have some oval bokeh. So they're trying to simulate anamorphic lens. So you can see right there. That's like an oval shape. Really awesome. 
Um, it doesn't quite have the anamorphic distortion like you would see in like Toy Story 4. If you haven't seen that, that's the best anamorphic ones I've ever seen in an animated short. So we have this. We have now the face. Textures, pores, perfect. The eyelash. Whenever I'm watching these high-quality cinematics, I'm always looking at two things, the eyeballs and the teeth. Because that is my number one enemy right now with Unreal Engine 5 MetaHuman. That's the last thing. Those are the last things I have to actually figure out. The sweat looks amazing. Now, she is giving me MetaHuman vibes so freaking bad, but I don't think it's a MetaHuman. I, I just don't think. I, even though, you know, I, I, she looks like a MetaHuman, I don't think she is. So, see this little fuzz right here that's so good now by default the meta human fuzz is too much so i'm actually having to dial that stuff down because this is like it's supposed to look like that unless you know the your character is chewbacca then you turn that up but look at this boom that's what i want to see teeth shader man that's what i want to see all right so 99.9 percent .9 of meta humans that i see have fully white teeth that's not realistic all right but it is super super hard to get this look i'm not a fucking dentist but i've looked at my teeth to study it basically this can't be fully white it should have some type of transparency towards the end which you're seeing right here this looks really good um in some shots it kind of gets a little bit solid but overall, it looks freaking amazing. Man, this is why we study this. Look at that. That's what you want. And what's tricky about this is the brightness of the teeth will vary on the brightness and where the light is coming from. So that's another thing that we kind of have to get into it. Now, I didn't go to school for any of this. This is mainly me observing what's going on in movies depending on the light it will never be the same it's so fucking tricky how teeth are rendered and what sells photorealism we got some nice highlights on her neck all right to kind of generate i wish i can go frame by frame it's not quite frame by frame because i i really want to i'm going to digest this all right so Let's rewind back. So let's kind of play that back. Actually, that's probably a good example of it. Whenever she's turning left, you kind of see that it's starting to look solid, but you can kind of still see some transparency there, meaning see through a little bit towards the tips. That's what you want. Man, this character looks great. Character looks great. All right, so here we go. Look at the eyeballs. The eyeballs, she's kind of missing some veins in there. I'm not sure if that's something that they decided not to do. I've never met anybody that had like clean eyeballs like that, to be honest. I mean, let me know in the comments below if you have. I love the reflections on that. Really do love it. Well, my goodness, this looks great. This is a 3D scan store. I love you all. We need some more Asian photos scanned for metahumans. You know, I've been requesting that for years because this looks amazing. All right, that's a close up. All right, so in the side view here, that looks pretty good. Got some hair sim going on. Facial animation wise, I feel like it's hand animated. She looks great. This is why I think it's a metahuman. When the mom came out, because oh man, I don't know. I'm I know I'm gonna be wrong, but she just gives me that meta human vibe. She even has a little bit of a booger right here. The attention to detail, the attention to detail of whoever made this is on point. Look at that. She's got a little hair stuck. On her face right here too look at that 
Is that a hair or a scratch? It's a, it might be a scratch. Sorry, it's not a hair. But yo, that little tiny speck of booger right there, that is well done. Let's look at the teeth again. Yeah, I don't know. They, the, I feel like it's hand animated because hand animators tend to finesse the lips a little bit too much sometimes. If you look, especially without audio, pay attention to her lips moving. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it was captured and then edited to clean up. Yeah, here's the teeth. You see how solid that is now? It's tricky, man. You might have some shots that are like right on, but whenever you change lighting, change scenes, even camera angle, it's going to look solid. She still looks good, though. It still looks good. Don't get me wrong. And that's one of the problems about hitting the eyeball straight with a light. Is it really the difference? This is actually a perfect frame for this. If you put your eyeballs in a shadow, it's going to look realistic. But once you blast it with light, if you were to cut this in half, right in the middle, this is going to look more realistic than this. It's just, it's just so hard, man. It's so hard to do it and get it right. I love this. This is like, I feel like it's a material kind of, if you look at her thumb, it's maybe like a material just dissolving in. Yeah, 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 yeah. But that looks so good. God, dude. I, mm. Here's the teeth again. This is way too close. I couldn't really see what was going on there. I love this shot. This is some like, you know, I've always said this like a million times. I wish they would just make like a studio like blur and make cinematics. Yeah, this is like Netflix grade cinematics. It's so amazing. This is so, f oh man, look at that. It's, it's crazy because I don't even know what I'm looking at, but it looks evil. Like, is that, what are the, the arms, the legs? Like, what is that thing? Oh, that's a good shot. They're like flipping through. We got some blood, some blood running, strip, strip, you know, transitioning to the normal. It's good, man. Man. Let's look at this shot real quick. This is a beauty shot. Backlight. Your key light is in the back, giving you those highlights. And then a front, it's just a fill light. We can see if they use a fill light on it or just kind of let it go if she looks up. But I don't know if she's going to look up or not. Oh, man. She's, she even has like bruises on her neck right here attention to detail my gosh yeah we got some nice lens flares in there boom no oh, that's an image right there that's nightmarish right there here we go again the light this is always going to look right wow wow man i wish i'll be this good like my my, my goal in life is to be this good one day golly it's good and then she kind of goes. Freaking A. And then you got your shot like that. Boom. All right, so in this shot right here, oval bokeh, anamorphic lens, looks really good, actually. Now, this one has a little bit of distortion in it. This reminds me of like an old Russian lens. One of my favorite lenses. I love this shot. The freaking depth of field is so, the transition is so creamy, like, no, no artifacts. Looking at the reflections, we actually do see the mom in front of her. There is no artificial light that I can see on her eyeballs, except for this 
little square right here, which that could be the environment, or it could be like a plane and an image projected to it to give that image back to the eyes as a catch light. Oh man, that's a beautiful shot. Bro. <laughs> that's pretty much it for this video. That is the Diablo 4 Vessel of Hatred cinematics. I'm going to be watching this a lot more because I probably missed a lot of stuff, but I don't want this video to be too long. That said, let me know in the comments below what you all think about the cinematics. Uh, thanks for checking it out with me, but this is how I learn, man. This is how I study uh, animation, lighting, cinematography, skin textures, everything. So, yeah, I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out.